Hey Libras, my air sign Libra, what is up, what is good with y'all, welcome and welcome back to the channel, thank you all for the love and support that you guys have shown me, I'm going to get into your love reading today, keep in mind that the energies are interchangeable, vice versa, if it doesn't fit, don't make it stick to your story, alright, switch it how you see fit, if it's not you, it's your person, if it's not your person, it's you, let's get into your romance oracle, and see what's going on for Libra and love. Libra and love. Libra. What is going on for Libra? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. For Libra and love. Thank you, Spirit. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, go ahead and express how you feel to somebody. Express your love or your person may be expressing to you how they feel. Okay? Somebody is going to make a romantic gesture towards you. What else for Libra? What else do you have? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Aww. This is true love. So I feel like you're going to make a romantic gesture to someone you feel like is your true love. Any more messages? Any more messages for Libra? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Someone from the past has unfinished business with you. It may be a soulmate from the past. I feel like it's a past life relationship that you may have had. So someone is getting ready to express their feelings to you. This person feels as though you're their true love. And it's a soulmate connection here. Past life connection. This person feels like there's unfinished business. Any more messages for Libra? One more. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So you may be separated from this person. All right. This person may have separated for travel or work. You might be feeling a sense of loneliness. Okay. Forgiving and learning is here. So this person wants forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. I feel like you have learned a lot of lessons and you're releasing a lot of things that you and this person have been through in order to experience more love in your present moments. Let's get into your spread and see what's going on. So with the lovers showing up here, Gemini energy, I feel like your person does have some unfinished business with you with the lovers. There's a strong spiritual connection that you two have to one another. There's a strong sexual magnetic attraction that you two have to one another. And this is a soulmate connection, all right? But somebody feels that there's unfinished business. And they want to come in with the Page of Cups and apologize to you. They want to say they're sorry. They want to send you a message of love or, you know, um, just uh, an apology, all right? Because this person does feel disappointed they have a lot of regrets and remorse for the things that happened in the past. All right. And they do want a relationship or some sort of connection with you, a partnership. This person feels like you're their true love. All right. Let's get into the spread. So there is um, a soulmate connection here with someone you were in a committed relationship with. You may have been married to this person. Okay. You may have children with this person. You may share property with this person. But I feel like you wanted to build something stable, solid, and committed with this person. Something you were creating longevity for you and this person. Okay? You felt as if this person was your end-all, be-all. Like, you know, this person's the one. And they feel the same way about you. Because with the lovers here, there's a mutual energy here. Okay, both of you feel like you're the one. Like, they are the one. This is it. This is the one. Okay? But I feel like whoever you are married to or sharing a family with, children, property with, 
or in a committed relationship with, I feel like this person may have been a secret keeper, um, cancer energy, all right? But I feel like spirit wants you to listen to your intuition and think really long and hard about this, okay? You may be an entrepreneur, but I feel like there's something being hidden or a secret being kept here. You may be keeping a secret. I feel like you may be keeping quiet as well, or this person is. Somebody is really keeping quiet. I feel like it's this person keeping quiet here because there was some heartache and pain. This is your energy, Libra. You could be dealing with a fellow Libra like yourself, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. This person, you know, they're keeping quiet because they know they've hurt you. They put you in a third-party situation. And Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition because you may still be hurt or still have some heartache and pain due to a third party situation or whatever this person has put you um, through. They may have been a love triangle. I do see that there has been a separation here between you and your partner. And it really is hurting them. Okay, They feel really heartbroken and they want some forward movement with you. Um, cancer energy. Okay, a lot of you, you may be moving forward, moving on with your life, but this person, they want to come towards you. They may be traveling towards you in a vehicle, but I feel that they want to come towards you. They want forward movement with you. They want things to move forward with you. Okay, you may be moving to a different city, state, country, or town, or this person is in another city, state, country, or town from you. Okay. And with the Six of Wands showing up, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, I feel like this person wants success and victory with you. They want to come towards you and, you know, give you a lot of attention. They want to um, show you that they're worthy of your love. They can prove their love to you. But I feel like some of you are heartbroken. You may be moving and you're moving forward successfully and victoriously. Okay, this person is heartbroken because they feel like you're moving on and you're getting attention from other people. Okay, they know how sexy and intuitive you are. This is Libra energy, Pisces or Taurus, mainly Libra. But I feel like, you know, you may be younger than this person, very youthful, very beautiful, intuitive, mind, body and soul. You know your worth, you know your value and you know what you will and will not accept in relationships. And I feel like. You put yourself to a very high standard, okay? And I feel like this person, they see that. They see that, you know, you were, you know, every time something happened, you would put this person first. You would try to make the relationship work. You would try, try to make the relationship work. But I feel this person sees you as very beautiful and abundant. You may be pregnant or just birthing something new here, okay? I'm um, creating something new here for yourself. All right. Why is the three of swords here? Clarify the three of swords for Libra. Thank you. Yeah, I told you they're heartbroken because they feel like you're getting attention from other people. And they want success and victory with you. They want to come towards you and give you a lot of attention but I feel that this separation and this heartbreak and this pain, you know, I feel like you're beginning to realize some things or some things are being brought to your attention. Okay. And I feel like, you know, you're turning your back. You're turning your back on this person to explore, to expand, to see what else is out there. You may have been waiting for this person to contact you. I feel like you're not going to contact them first. If you guys are not in contact with each other, I feel like you're waiting for this person to contact you first. Okay. Why is the chariot here? I feel like you're moving, relocating city, states, countries, or towns. All right. Yeah. I feel like you may be keeping this a secret. Especially with that high priestess, you're keeping quiet about something. I feel like you're you're keeping this a secret about your move. You're relocating. 
you're not telling anyone about this, but I feel like this person, they want to move towards you and they may have been hiding their feelings. They have some sort of a fear here. They confused. Like, how could you just move on like this? You know, they're really confused and they're really scared and they're hiding their feelings about how they feel on this situation here. Okay. They're all up in their feelings because they feel as though you have your options open. Like you are being optimistic about your love life. This person fantasizes about you. They daydream about you. They really think about you here. Okay. And you know, you moving on is causing them fear and a lot of confusion with the seven of cups. Okay. Because they feel as though, like I said, you're getting attention from other people, other suitors. They feel like you have a lot of options and love and you're getting a lot of attention. You may be in the public eye. You may be a public figure. You may have a huge following. You may be on a, a platform. Okay. I feel like this person wants to balance things out with you. They want to have an equal give and take with you after some sort of a breadcrumbing energy towards Virgo Capricorn, Earth energy. They may have been giving to two or giving um, love, attention, or money to two different people trying to balance things out between two. And I feel like you were really feeling as though, you know, should I keep investing in this person or this relationship? Because I feel like things have moved slow between you two. And the relationship never really got a chance to get off the ground. And you're becoming frustrated. You feel like this person is a total time waster, a player. In and out of your life, flighty, doesn't know what they want. Okay? You may feel like this person um, is rushing in towards you for passion. But I feel like they want to return to your life. They want forgiveness. Like we were just discussing in the Romance Oracle. They want forgiveness. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here for Libra and love? Thank you. <sighs> they feel as though you have new love and you're having a passionate brand new beginning with someone else. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person, they still have feelings for you. They still love you. They're very much in love with you. They have a deep, deep love for you. You two may have a, a little girl together. If you are pregnant, the sex may be a girl. But I feel like this person wants to offer you a cup of love. Okay? They love you. They're in love with you. All right? And they want to have a passionate brand new beginning with you. Okay? They want things to start. They want a new start, a clean slate between you two. I feel like you two's relationship has not been on and off. It's been ongoing. Right? You two may have a lot of sex or have a lot of sex in you guys' relationship, a lot of passion, but they see a lot of potential for the relationship to grow. Okay? But whatever is coming into fruition, it's not there as of yet, but it's getting ready to be set in stone. This person, they may be going through some sort of a self-improvement program some of you may be entering into a tarot course if you were wondering if a project was right for you this is the right project for you keep pursuing your passions and your dreams because i feel like a lot of ideas are going to be coming to you in the month of february okay but this person wants a, a clean start with you a passionate new beginning with you they want a new start Okay, in love. They want passion with you. And they're waiting for you to reach out. I feel like if you're waiting for them to reach out, they are waiting for something here. Your person may be at a distance from you. They may be waiting to travel towards you. They may be waiting to contact you or for you to contact them. But they feel as though you've turned your back on them. To see what else is out there. And they're contemplating and debating contacting you. They're going back and forth about contacting you. Alright. 
They want to they wanna gain some sort of balance in the relationship between you two with the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Libra? What is this person's intentions? Their intentions is to have something more stable, solid, and more committed with you. They want to take the relationship to the next level. They want to make you an offer. They want to start on the relationship or have a new start. They want to have a new start with you. A brand new beginning here. <clears throat> but I feel like you're putting your foot down. You're putting your foot down and you're standing up for yourself. You're protecting your energy. You may have been showing up defensive where there may have been rumors and gossip going around. Well, you're pretty pissed at this person. You may have been feeling attacked. But I feel like this person is willing to fight for the connection here. They're willing to fight for the connection and they want to work on it. They want a new start with you or to uh, make a peace offering to you. They're, they're going to apologize to you. This person is going to be putting themselves on or they realize that they're being put on a defense to give their excuse or explanation for what has happened between you two and they are willing to send you an unexpected message and apologize to you they're wanting to fight for the connection they're wanting to fight for the connection why is what is the outcome for libra and their person what is the outcome what is the outcome what is the outcome They want things to go in their favor. They want things to change between you two. And I feel like things will change between you two. Okay. I feel that um, you may have been dealing with the karmic. It's not always bad. Okay. But I feel like this person, they, they're coming back changed. And some brand new energy, some changed energy. Okay. And they want things to go in their favor they want things to change between you two they feel like it's destiny for you two to be together they feel like you two are meant to be together and i feel like they want to take this leap of faith towards you and have a brand new beginning with you they're willing to open up more about their feelings and emotions because i feel like this person was a free spirit. You know, they were a social butterfly. They didn't wear their heart in their sleeve. They were overthinking. They were pretty cold and detached to you. And now I feel like they want to give you the truth. They want to be honest with you and they're going to send you a message. They're going to come in and communicate with you. And you're going to be shocked. This is unexpected. I feel like you're not, you're not going to see this coming. Okay, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it is all in divine timing. Not my timing, not your timing. Let's say it together. Divine timing. Yes. And so it's all in divine timing. Let's get some channel messages for your person and for you. What does Libra have to say? What does Libra have to say? What does Libra have to say? I know I made a mistake. So your person is coming in. To give their message okay they know they've made a mistake it's either you saying this or them but somebody realizes that they made a mistake here they made a mistake about what they did leaving you hurt me too so you this person may have ghosted you or they feel like they made a mistake in putting you in a love triangle you know getting attention from other people and entertaining it and kind of moving forward but not telling you that they're keeping their options open getting attention from other people that may have had a new love where there was a lot of chemistry between them and it seemed like things were going to start with this other person for some of you but some unexpected changes happened in their life where they needed to make a choice between two with the lovers here okay between you and um another person but i feel like they're going to choose to be with you libra they're going to choose to be with you, okay? They want to be with you. They want to come towards you and apologize for whatever secrets that they were keeping. They were keeping a lot hidden from you. They were keeping a lot, um, they were keeping you left in the dark about things, not telling you things, and they brought a lot of confusion into the relationship. 
Any more messages for Libra? Any more messages for Libra? How does Libra feel? You're waiting for an apology. Like I was saying, somebody was waiting for something. You waiting for this person to apologize to you. You feel like you deserve that much. Like, I deserve that much. I deserve an apology. But this person does not know what to say. That's why they were contemplating, going back and forth, debating, contacting you. They realize that you are more, you two are more alike than they think. They realize that you two have a lot in common more than they thought or more than they can, like to admit. Okay. And so your person knows they made a mistake to leave you. It hurt them too. I feel like this person did not want to leave you and they are regretting it. I, they know you're waiting for an apology, but they don't know what to say to you. They don't know how to say it. They don't know how to start. They don't know how to, you know, make things right between you two. But they're going to fight for the connection. They're going to fight. Any more channel messages for Libra? Any more channel messages for Libra? Thank you. Hmm. Water sign. This situation involves a cancer pisces or a scorpio so some of you may be dealing with the water sign or you have water on your chart or this person is just very emotional about the situation here rich having abundance material wealth financial security and stability okay so you may be rich somebody here sees you as rich this water sign may be rich or it's just like you're you're having abundance material wealth Financial stability and, and security. You're rich. Like, you got money, honey. <laughs> you got money. I feel like you're moving forward with the decision that you're making. Okay. Um, it may be about inheritance. There's a large lump sum of money coming your way. There's a large lump sum of money from an inheritance of some sort. From a loved one. Could be a family member. Um, there is a large inheritance, a large lump sum of money coming your way. I feel like you've been waiting for this money and in divine timing, it is coming to you. It is coming to you in divine timing. Any other messages? Okay. So I feel like this person was shady, giving the impression of dishonesty questionable suspicious or untrustworthy you may have seen this person as being very shady okay they may have been a cheater not saying that they physically cheated they may have just been non-committal and sometimes with the fool uh you know uh commitment is not the fool style the fool is non-committal especially with the knight of wands that i was just showing you the Knight of Wands is non-committal, in and out, okay? And so this is what this this is what this is saying. Sleeping around while having a partner, not playing fair, unfaithful, or non-committal. So your person, they were they were being shady towards you. You know, they were non-committal. You know, being a cheater, but this person cannot let you go. They're very clingy. They're clinging on to you. They're not going to let you go. They don't want to. They cannot let you go. They feel as if they cannot let you go. Okay. Last message for Libra. Last message. Last message for Libra. Last channel message. Spirit, is that it? Is that it? Whistleblower. Someone can keep a secret, runs off and tells your business, exposes information. Maybe that's why you're keeping things a secret. Somebody here, it may be a family member or a friend, but somebody can't keep a secret for shit. They can't hold water for nothing. They always running off at the mouth telling everybody, you know, exposing information. And so maybe that's why you're keeping things a secret. Maybe that's why you're keeping things hidden here. All right. Let's see what signs are coming up for the day in Libra, in Libra's energy. Who is Libra dealing with in particular? 
Um, I think that's Scorpio. I get Scorpio and Virgo mixed up their signs for some reason. Gemini is here. So Gemini is very significant because Gemini was the underlining energy. Actually, the lovers is the theme of the reading. Okay. Soulmate connection. Unfinished business. Um, Aquarius is here. Pisces is here. One more. One more. Taurus. Okay. So you have that. And the number of the day is... Is that a... One. Number one is the number of the day. So that's all the messages that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new and you like this reading, you like the way I read, you like the content, make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn your post notifications on ALL so you always know when I upload. And you guys, check out these Libra readings right here. Like right here. Check these out right now. I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye, Libras. I'll see y'all in the next reading.